let me just first turn this thing on. Here's the switch. Here it is. And what we have here is an accelerometer. There's the accelerometer chip. It's an MMA7660 by Freescale. And it can measure up to plus or minus 1.5 G. And this board is made by Tahik. There's the uh, there's the name T A E T I C. You can visit the website at uh, focusing. Uh, that's Tahik.com. Anyway, <coughs> I've uh, hooked this thing up in such a way that the I squared C for the board is at 2.8 volts while the uh, PIC 18 or rather PIC 16F 1828 this one the 20 pin MCU is at 5 volts DC this is a uh, this is an LM317 and it's hooked up such that its output is at 2.8 volts input is at 5, 5 volts in order to translate that voltage from 5 volts down to 2.8, what I'm using here is uh, uh, 2N7000 MOSFET. There are two of them over here. One is for the, this one's for the SCL or the clock line. This is for the data line, the SDA line. And uh, I think, uh, well, th this, this uh, setup using MOSFET transistors is courtesy of um, NXP or Philips uh, application note which I should have in the description below or in my blog so you can visit that for the full schematics as well as the description and discussion of this circuit there's a rat's nest over here uh, most of the lines are well there's five lines going to the accelerometer chip itself uh, these lines are well this these these go to the uh, picket too and these are from the LCD over here <clears throat> anyway um, let's let's play around with this board as you can see the readout here has the values for the x-axis the y-axis and the z-axis and it also has the accelerometer also has some um, cool features such that it can tell us whether the, the chip itself is facing or it says front. This is actually front. If I turn it over, it's going to say back. It's on its back. <clears throat> or if it's facing down or up, well, this is facing left. If I turn it over here, it's going to face right. Oh, sorry. It's out of, out of camera. There. It's right. I turn it over here. It's left. And if I turn it this way, that's facing down. The other way, it's going to say it's facing up. Okay, as you can also see the, the axes, the values for the axes uh, changing. When it's facing up, X is actually uh, measuring 1G, which should be approximately uh, a value of 21, since this is a this is a 5-bit uh, or a 5-bit value so when, the, when it says facing up that means the, uh, the x-axis is experiencing negative 1g and if I turn it this way it should say positive 1g well it's not that accurate but it's uh, well it's almost 21 so it's about plus 1g and it says that's facing down if I turn it one side it says it's facing right and as you can see uh, X and Z are practically zero while Y is at negative 1G. Turn it the other way, 180 degrees and now the Y axis is at 1G, positive 1G while the uh, orientation is facing left. <clears throat> now let's have the chip facing up now we have X and Y practically zero and Z at approximately 1G, positive 1G. Turn this thing over. It says it's on its back. Z is now negative 1G. X and Y are practically zero. Now let's try the, uh, the tap feature which I've 
uh, activated. The uh, the setup here is that the MCU, the microcontroller, is actually reading the values via I I squared C, the values of the uh, of the chip at uh, four times a second, or every uh, quarter of a second. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to check. Uh, I'm going to try the uh, the tap feature. If I tap it once, you see there. One. One. Now I, I'm going to do a double tap. See, you can see that number two. Double tap. Oops, too fast. It's uh, it's measuring it at uh, reading it at um, four times a second and tap too quickly. There. Okay. If if I read it about uh, maybe um, six eight times a second, it will capture those uh, those very quick double taps. But anyway, two taps. The tap the tap it once and then wait again. It's not it's not going to record that as a as a double tap. Okay. Oops, that's a double tap. That's a double tap. Whoops. Let me try three taps. One, two, three. Oh, see. After the uh, the third tap is actually recorded as a single tap. After the the, uh, the double click or double tap. <coughs> anyway, let's um, try something else. If I turn it this way, about 45 degrees from the uh, horizontal, you see that the values are intermediate. And you can actually use the values from the x, y, z axes to um, sort of, well, compute the, the orientation of the chip or whatever the device the uh, chip is installed in. Okay. So that's just uh, test driving this MMA7660 accelerometer by Freescale.